Yes, sir. Big Stewie checking in, man. Trapping out the trap out. You know what's going on, right? Big Stewie in here. You know, I always interview everybody. When I see stories that go on in the world, I just be wanting to know what the hell going on. So as y'all know, a video was posted with some young ladies um, that were incarcerated. I don't necessarily know. I, I'm just now finding out the information about what's going on and where they're incarcerated at. But they had to. Black women going to get their sexy on wherever they need to get their sexy on at. Let's just, I'm going to start off saying a black woman going to get her sexy on wherever she going to get her sexy on at. And I have the mother of one of the beautiful young ladies. What's up, love? You got to talk in that microphone now. Don't even worry about that camera right Don't there. Don't worry about the camera. Yeah, just talk right. to me. Now, what's going on? Well, um... And what's your daughter's name? Shakristen Brown. Sh- Sh- Christian. Yeah, Shakristen is the one in the button down. Okay. They have the one in the gray pants that had everybody buzzing. Okay. And she's right next to her. The little bitty one. The little bitty I one. can see it on her face. Y'all, you look, you and your daughter I mean, look alike. That's my twin. That's okay. My twin. She's only 4'11". Okay. So she's a She's a little bit. So what her little ass doing? <laughs> What's going on? Talk, mama, talk to me. She got caught up. Um, it was a um armed robbery situation mm. back in 2012, and um I won. I, I'm a I'm a refrain from going into the details the case because okay. uh, we we're coming back. We have some new discovery that's gonna finally back up mm. to Kristen's story that she didn't have anything to do with it. But crazy thing, the judge felt that um. She should give her two life sentences plus 10 years as a first offender. What? Two life sentences. Nobody is dead. I mean, everybody walked out of the situation, not to make it a minor right. situation, if that were to happen. But my God, she was eight months pregnant, standing in front of the judge, and the judge said, I don't think you could be rehabilitated because you won't admit it. So the justice system. So you want me to tell you I did something I didn't do, ah. and you and because I didn't do it, and you believe I did, I still gotta go. I, I need you need to tell me you did this, or what you should have done was just took that plea, and you probably wouldn't be here, so I can do what I want to do with this ink pen. And as you can see, I say stop killing us with a pen because she literally murdered my daughter in front of me to say that. She could never take her child to school. She could never put him to bed. She could never do any of that. Two life sentences plus 10 years, and she didn't have any priors. Clayton County Judge Benefield. I'm, I, I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm, like, that doesn't make any sense. Right. And that's why I wanted to come here. Like, the picture did more than what it did. My baby is beautiful. Yes, she is. And the rest of the girls are, too. But I said, this is a moment mm. that I have been knocking on doors trying to get her story out to say this wasn't right. Mm. She has completed 10 to the door. She went in November 2013. Um, she's she's at her 10 years. Mm. If it's a mandatory 10 for armed robbery, my baby has done that. So she's been locked up for 10 years? Since November 2013. Shut the front door. She had her son December 6th when she went in. Um, I picked him up from the hospital. Um... And I, we've taken care of him since. We've taken care of him. Fabulous young man. Awesome basketball player. As a matter of fact, he just made the all-star basketball team. Awesome kid. Well-rounded, and he knows his mom. But he's he's grown up watching right. this. And according to Judge Benefield, this is his life forever. Mm. Is that he will never get an opportunity to experience his mother on the outside. So the sentence was just extreme. It so was over the why are they why, why are they doing this to, like, because this is like, and what's crazy is a lot, a lot of stories that's like this that have never ever came to the forefront. Right. That kids are getting like one mistake, you out of there. Like, ain't I don't get no second chance. I don't get nothing. I it, I feel like it has to do with the color of our skin. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody always say you always put racism and everything, but how can you not say that when that situation happens? When you have these mass murderers, like mass mass murderers, they 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 get some chicken wings and Burger King and they don't get killed. Exactly. Nipsey's killer just got, what, 60 years? Killed him cold blood, broad daylight. It's a lot of years, but in comparison to this young lady who has never... Wait a minute. You all right. So mm-hmm. Let's talk they about try to give it. her two life sentences. Plus 10. Plus 10. So how many years is that? <clears throat> mm, she would be eligible for a parole probably about 68, 69 years old. And she went in at 22. So I will be long gone. It won't be an opportunity to experience family, according to the judge. Um, her exact words to her. It, I don't know what the personal, but she said, you know, you remind, you're, you're like Judas in the Bible. Judas, we Christians cringe when we think about Judas. Right. Did like, how, well, how dare you? How dare you speak on somebody that you don't even know that never met this young lady in her life? Because, and it was a, um, a, circ- um, a circumstantial case. It wasn't an a evidence case. Mm-hmm. It was a bunch of word of mouth. 
Um, so you don't even got no hardcore facts. I don't have any hardcore facts. It's, it's no DNA, said. no shells, no fingerprints. No fingerprints, no anything. It just sounds right. The jury fell for it, and you have a conviction. Okay, so be it. But what they did, they trumped charges. Can you hear me? They trumped charges, right? Mm. So you're talking about one single armed robbery um, that had seven people in there. So they did seven armed robberies, seven kidnaps, seven aggravated assaults. They trumped the charges that it was up to about 50-some felonies in this one incident. So the judge, looked, judge addressed it as armed robberies. So when you have that many armed robberies, you have a 10, 20, you have life. Mm. So she just maximized it. By saying seven armed robberies and here you go. She wanted Shakristen to say, I did this and fall out on the floor. I'm so sorry. But she stood strong. I didn't. I'm not the person that they're saying I am. I didn't do this. Mm. And the judge is like, you know, you remind me of Judas. You gave it all away for two pieces of silver. Nobody's taking your life. You gave it away. And she looks at her and, and she's pregnant and saying, when did that happen? You, you were out on bun and you, you get pregnant, so I'm supposed to sentence you based on you being pregnant. I brought the transcript to back up what I'm saying because I'm not just making it up. I'm not just a mother that is it wants my daughter home. It's true story. Mm. I watched my daughter literally get killed with a pen. And when you see Sha Kristen on that picture, that's God. Mm. When you go in with two life sentences and you look like that, that's God. Mm-hmm. They don't look like they're stressing. She is. Mm. extremely um didn't expect I, I couldn't that imagine. to do that i couldn't right? imagine like that i couldn't imagine that as a parent like i have a daughter come on you know what i'm saying and she about to turn 13 so you tell me like my my daughter and my daughter is one of those kids that like i wouldn't say nosy but just like to be around she likes to watch right. like she tells me i'm at school she said dad some guy had a knife i said what'd you do she said i just looked at him i watched i said girl get the hell on right mind your business immediately because you're a black woman yes you was there. You did it. You know him. I don't even know his name. Daddy can't help you. You were there. You got the. You got the. You see some. Get out of there. Right. If you need to call and you feel like somebody's like about to hurt you or hurt them, hurt. Them, get out of there. Exit now. Immediately. That is crazy. And and Ryan was in college and just the kind of mom I am. Um, my my younger son, I think Reno was what sixth grade, it's and Ryan nice. was away in, in college at at Georgia Southern, and they knew nothing about the trial. I kept a strong face. They mm. they didn't know their sister was even on trial. Wow. Um, they just found out about the sentence probably uh, about a year ago yeah. when our um, <laughs> my younger son Googled it. Mm. Curiosity was eating them up like, when is she coming home? And they called me like, man, no way. This, this didn't happen. And I had to tell them that, it, you know, this is really what we have going on. We're not counting down to a date. Mm-hmm. Um, so as a parent, when you say as a parent, man, this is God. Come on now. This you, is God to just. I couldn't, I couldn't imagine. I'm, I have a, and real was crazy. Like my oldest that I've been taking care of, she's 21. Mm-hmm. So I got 21, 13, six and three, right. two boys, two girls. So I couldn't even imagine like you even being that strong and, and how do you deal? Like it's a constant, a constant fight, a constant reminder, like of the justice system and how like we just not really done right. We're not. And, and I think every time I watch the news and I see the outcome of somebody's case, I, I, I die all over again. Cause it's like, look at what they did or look at what they did. And this has, this is not even compared to right. what she Kristen got caught up in. So um, as a parent, I breathe, I stop breathing. I haven't breathed since 2012 when this happened, literally mm. to just exhale mm. because it, it was a, it was a, it kept going. It's your baby. Not only did she get convicted, I, I get ready to go visit her for the first time after they had taken her back. And remember, she's pregnant. And I'm there that Sunday to see her. And the lady go, you can't see her. She had the baby Friday. I died again. She had the baby and I wasn't even here. Mm. She had delivered him Friday. Um, and I didn't know. In jail? Um, or did they take her to a hospital? Like, How does that work? He was born in the in the ambulance, which was yeah. the beauty because his birth okay. certificate doesn't say prison. Good. And for that, I'm thankful. Small things right. I get praised for. So for that, it doesn't say prison. But um, I went to see her to find out that the baby had been born. Mm. And they're like, you can't go to the hospital. It's my baby. Right. She just had her first child. I can't go see her. Right. If you go down there, you can get arrested. So you have to wait for us to call you. 
to tell what? you you can come and get the baby. And I, she said she just remember when they separated him from her. And um, the next morning she heard the chains. And she knew they was coming to get her. So my story, her story, is just a, it's stories. Mm. Um, and if we were counting down to a date, um, we could probably breathe. Mm. But what the judge said to her, the way she talked to her, the way she uh, judged her in that moment, to never be able to function in society again is is what's heartbreaking. So right. that picture has given me a voice. Mm. And only God could do that. Right. Well, I'm definitely praying for you. What would you say? What would you tell some of these mothers out here that's going through it? Because I'm pretty sure that it's it's a mother just like you that that was not able to tell her story, not able to put her heart out there and, and let everybody know what's really going on. What would you tell that mother? I would tell her to keep knocking on the doors, you know, keep believing. Um, I can't stress enough how my faith has been what has kept me. And um, I just kept believing. And let me not say I kept believing because I I, I was questioning God. Oh, right. my. Where, where are you? Um, but believe in something bigger than the situation. Come on now. And don't go left. People can start drinking they can start doing drugs. Something like this can do a whole oh, lot you can Yes, you can definitely drive yourself insane. So I would say um, do the best you can to hold on to that little mustard seed of faith Come on. and believe that someday something like this might happen. And if you have the opportunity to get on trial and explain who your daughter is, what would you tell What would you tell them about your daughter? That she is from a two-family household where I was a teenage mom. And my goal was to never be able to let this little girl say that her mother did A, B, or C. So she came from a strong mother. She came from a strong background. She completed high school. She did all of the things that you're supposed to do. She had her moments. What teenager doesn't? But she could come back to society and do great things. We have paid for her paralegal school out of our pocket because the prison doesn't offer that. $160 $160 a month we paid for her to complete the class, and she just submitted her last assignment to become a certified paralegal. So in spite of this sentence, I believe she will be able to get out and still function. Mm. Attorneys don't do background checks. She's extremely smart, so she can work that paralegal, and she could help other people mm. by working for a criminal justice attorney. So her future is bright. Come on now. I just pray this interview get to the right hands. Uh, you know what I mean? I feel like so much, so much other things go viral. You know what I'm saying? Including this picture, they can attack this, this interview along with this picture just so she can get a second opportunity. And I think she deserves it. I think you deserve it as a mother. And I think that there's so many other cases out there that deserves this. And just like you said, me being a parent, I want grace on my children. See what I'm saying? Just a little, so, right? Yeah, just, got, just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Whatever God can, can offer. You know what I mean? So I definitely um, appreciate you. And I'm sorry that you have to go through this. And I'm definitely praying for her and your family. You have a beautiful daughter. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure a lot of people out there are like, <laughs> where to go fund me at? We got to get her out of jail. You know, this is Atlanta. So Atlanta, right. hey, contact contact her. And, you know what I'm saying? Hey, put some money on the books, bro. You know what I'm saying? Help out a little bit. Help help my out. You know yes, what I'm saying? This I'm, Lord comes, I'm going to put it out there. That's future said uh, lawyers and commissary don't play, pay themselves. Come right? on, man. I'm going to put it out there. I'm going to put it out there. Yeah, is there a GoFundMe? Is there anything, any way they can tag if they want to help out or anything? Like, I know everybody always had a GoFundMe situation, right, but this right. is a situation I feel like needed to even get some lawyers involved. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some bigger yeah. lawyers that actually have some power that know these people. Yes, you know what yes, I'm saying? That's yes. making these terrible decisions. Right, right. How can they contact? Well, we do have a um, her, her cash app that mm-hmm. I, I made up. It's Breakthrough 2023. Okay. I'm claiming a breakthrough in 2023. I did that last year. And it's in so, Instagram is a justice. Uh, justice is, for a brown girl. Come on now. Justice for a brown girl. Uh, go follow the page. We, we're we going to use this as our first interview um, of many. Mm-hmm. And I, I believe that it's going to keep going and keep going. And I'm not going to stop until we get this sentence where it needs to be. If Justice for ten, a brown girl. Ten years we've done that. Mm. If she needed to pay her debt to society and do T- ten, ten to the door. Ten, ten a long time, now. But mm. she did it. Ten alone. Her son made it. We made it. We're here. We yeah. survived it. But not the rest of her life. We're Come not on going now. for that. Biden. Joe, it's the internet. Somebody tag Joe Biden. Somebody tag somebody. What's the, what's the crazy black man that be always interviewing everybody? Every time a big black case go on, he who is it? Yeah, what's his name? 
What's, what's his name, friend? Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. He always in a... Yeah. We'll find out. You, everybody know what I'm yes, talking about. They probably yes. going to tag this video like, it's him, it's him, it's him. Yes. He's an old yeah. country man, bald-headed brown guy. He always like, oh, he's like Reverend Al Sharpton over all over again. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, call him too. Crumb, yeah. Listen crumb, to us. Yeah, name. this is this is crazy. And I, I think a lot of this, 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 everybody know that this Judge Benefield and Clayton, she will wipe you out. She mm. has since retired. But crazy thing, she's around as a senior judge. So she's still watching everything people still can't move she go home you've done enough you right. know um but i think so much damage has been done evil can't rest mm. you know i would retire if i put in all that time and i go sit down somewhere right. but you got to keep your hands in it right so um a lot of people have been wiped out with her pen a lot of people so maybe some more mothers right. that has been in clayton county will come out and we can begin a movement come on now um and and I want to add that that picture taken of those girls, where were the guards? Where were people? Mm. The prisons hardly have anybody working in there. Mm. There are no classes for these for corrections. People didn't come back after the pandemic, mm. so they're literally taking care of themselves. Wow. So how did that picture happen? The girls get depressed a lot, right? So right. I'm that mother that hypes everybody up. So I said, where are we going tonight? I said, we're going to the club tonight. So y'all get dressed. And I started talking to my daughter on the phone. So she go gets the other girl. Say, Mom said, we're going to the club. I said, we're going to Lanethia's Lounge. If you all are not there by 9, I'm leaving you. You know, mm. I need to get home. But it's mental. Right. So they started getting dressed as if they were going out. And I do that with them often when they're in that place. So that is a night in their mind they went out. Right. That's hard. Yeah, if you go back, like, to a few other weeks and uh, go back to a few other weeks on her profile, you can actually see them, like, in the tubs, in the pool with, like, bikinis on, too. But this one, that's just called Wave. That's but if crazy. you scroll back earlier, you'll be more entertained by and, some... And what's, some, and what's this Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, we, we, we'll right. disclose that. Right, right. We're trying to tread real lightly as far as, like, you know... C Everything else connecting Anything globally in the clouds. Right. And no, stuff like I got that. you. So, yeah. No, but, but her definitely yeah. her justice for for brown girl. We want to build the followers on that, and I will mm -hmm. drop some of the other things on there for right. people yeah. to see. But they have been trying to live the best way they can. I mean, that's being creative. That's being innovative. You got to do what you got to do to to get through that time because yes. because it's a lot of time to sit with yourself, and especially when, especially when you ain't do nothing. Yeah. Especially, especially when, when you ain't do nothing. Yeah. I think your Chris's outfit was made. Uh, it was cool, huh? Yeah. It's, it's pajamas. Mm -hmm. We we bought, we buy her. She's a she's a diva in there. I went to see her and I was I can tell mine. by mine. I mean, mine, you, you you look like you was a diva too back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Now, her yeah. laid and everything. I see it's raining outside and curls still popping. Don't play with her. Don't play with me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and she gets it from her mama. Come on now. But um, I go down there and I'm like, I, I haven't been going to the nail shop because I'm depressed and thinking about you. She takes her shoes off and go, Mom, my feet are done. You better get your feet done. Mm, so she now. she's we, we're buying her the dove soap. She's not going to use that soap. So mm -hmm. we have to make sure that she's maintained the, as best as we can with what right. she's used to. But that's a pajama set that we bought. So it's not the prison clothes she cut up, and they altered it to fit her. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. Those are are things that we bought. The t-shirt, the underwear, out of our pocket. Right. So she is not cutting up the prison clothes. Right. Okay. Come on now. <laughs> Let that be known. Let that be known. We're messing with y'all property. That's ours. Y'all okay? can keep that. That's ours. Okay. Well, I definitely thank you for uh, coming out and just speaking speaking from your heart and letting me know what's going on. And I definitely appreciate it. And I hope this um, this 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 digital world takes this video and takes it to the next level, too, so somebody can call out and just answer y'all prayers and God will be there. Thank you. You know what I mean? Definitely appreciate you. All right? Trapping up the Trap House, Big Stewart. You dig? Yeah, I'm in the streets. <laughs> <laughs>